my late father pointed out to me more than once, God made men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. Shit, Rona. Yeah. Makes me nervous standing so close to all these goddamn barrels of gunpowder. Why would you be nervous? No one has the cojones to come after us. As long as you don't light up a cigar, we're fine. Ah, uh, besides, George is up there on the rocks with that rifle of his. Nothing gets past him. Cynthia, my cookie. Den dürfte ich kriegen ohne Munition zu verschwenden. Was hat er dabei? Auch ein Gewehr. Und eine Tasche, wo nichts dran ist. Und noch ein Gewehr. Und irgendwas verpackt ist. Okay. Das sieht interessant aus. Lass da mal runtergehen. So, ähm, neue Fähigkeiten. Mhm. Finde ich gut. Also ich bekomme ein tolles Sachen drauf. Achso, habe ich schon, okay. Dann das hier. Das bringt mir schon noch was. Okay, es sind noch alle tot. Hallo? Oh Gott, bin ich gerade schon. Ich dachte, ähm, die, die Konstellation, dann zeigen wir wieder, wenn das genannt wurde, oben. Links, das ist ein Gegner. Ne, das ist nichts. Was weiß ich. I knew that dynamite wasn't mine, so I decided the polite thing would be to return it. It was the biggest gold rush since Sutter's Mill in 48. Unfortunately, prospectors weren't the only ones drawn to those riches. There were thieves and killers. Robbing travelers and hijacking gold shipments. Like those that ran with Plummer. Some were just regular folks I knew from town, drawn by greed and easy pickings. Oh. Charlie Crow, the blacksmith. James, who worked in the stable. Sam and Jeremiah Barber, the butcher's son. Ordinary citizens who lived a double life. Stealing and thieving and murdering their neighbors. This is our gold now. 
If Daddy had lived to see Alfred Nobel's explosive invention, my guess is he would have told Samuel Colt to kiss his ass. Of course, the rest were veterans of the Civil War. Stone-cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public yeah, with okay. one hand, yeah, yeah. while stealing them blind with the other. He so, set up a defensive okay. perimeter, <laughs> which I had no idea how to break. Warum denke ich, dass eine Kiste explodiert? Ich weiß, dass eine Kiste explodiert. Oh, Scheiße. Ich wollte nur wissen, wo der ist. Ich war ausgenommen und in weit über mein Kopf. Aber ich war zu damn stubborn und stupid, um zu realisieren. Sie müssen gedacht haben, dass ich was getötet habe. Oder sie hatten eine Art von Todeswunsch. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. One stray bullet, one stray spark, and I'd be blown to hell and gone. Did I have any second thoughts about what I was doing? No. I thought I was some kind of hero. I finally made it past and headed on to meet Good. my destiny. But first, I had something I needed to figure out. Oh, ich bekomme Punkte. Im Ernst. Warum bekomme ich Punkte dafür, Kaktusse zu töten? Kakteen. Ich weiß. Kakteen. I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine. But once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Yo, so good on. I have a good feeling, but... Ja, das kann ich vor mir herschieben. Oh. Das ist nicht Standard. Und hier schießt dich einfach. Was muss denn Waffen hier so bleiben? LOL! Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Get around it! Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. I'm here. Ja, genau. Das ist doch lustig. Lachen wir alle mal zu. 